We want a dyke for president. We 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 want a dyke for president. I want a person with AIDS to be president. And I want a fag for vice president. And I want someone with no health insurance. And I want someone who grew up in a place where the earth is so saturated with toxic waste that they didn't have a choice about getting leukemia. I want a president that had an abortion at 16. And I want a candidate who wasn't the lesser of two evils. And I want a president who lost your last lover to AIDS. Who still sees that every time in their eyes when they lay down to rest. Who held their lover in their arms and knew they were dying. I want a president with no air conditioning. A president who has stood in line at the clinic. At the DMV, at the welfare office, and has been unemployed. And laid off, and sexually harassed, and gay bashed, and deported. I want someone who has spent the night in the tombs. And had a cross burned on their lawn, and survived rape. I want someone who has been in love, and been hurt. Who respects sex who has made mistakes and learn from them. I want a black woman for president. I want someone with bad teeth. Someone who has eaten hospital food. Someone who cross-dresses and has done drugs and been in therapy. I want someone who has committed civil disobedience. And I want to know why this isn't possible. I want to know why we started learning somewhere down the line that a president is always a clown. Always a John and never a hooker. Always a boss but never a worker. Always a liar. Always a thief. And never caught. We want a dyke for president. We want a dyke for president.